Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 79. Well, technically it's actually a remake of video log number 79, which I'll delete once I finish making this. Um, because the issue that was being tackled in that particular video log was ongoing when I made it. And I was on my high horse and getting quite aggressive with Rory because I fundamentally disagreed with how he'd approached me on something that he had a valid point on. So Rory's point, to boil it down was that we shouldn't eat with people like Thomas Sheridan. In other words, I've had Thomas Sheridan at my table and given that he ridiculed Flat Earth, he felt that that was inappropriate. Now, my argument was that we should pay attention to the 99% of people who think we live on a globe and the small percentage of those people who've been exposed to flat earth and braced against it, we have to have an understanding that we make lots and lots of videos about why people will brace against this subject and we shouldn't ridicule them an eye for an eye. Uh, in return, we should you know, be inviting these people to our table and you know, forgiving them um, or ignoring it. Moreover, uh, ignoring the fact that they don't agree and focusing on the fact that they uh, have expert knowledge in a different field. So my point at the time of making video log 79A, if you want to call it that, was that you can have these people's knowledge expressed to a flat earth audience without basically letting it descend into a row about flat earth. And my guest, who is Thomas Sheridan, isn't an expert in astronomy or anything to do with globes, he's an expert in psychopaths. And that was the knowledge that I wanted to get across to a flat earth audience so that they could see uh, more sense in the people that deceive us and the people that give us the globe lie. And if I wanted to attack Thomas Sheridan, I could have invited Joe Bloggs Public onto the show. Also, Basically, all of Thomas Sheridan's anti-flat earth points had already been addressed in former video logs that I'd done. And Thomas Sheridan himself had addressed those response videos. So he'd even left a comment on Phuket Word or Nick's video about uh, anti-flat earth and thanked him for all of the points. Um, but like I tried to demonstrate with David Weiss, when you have cognitive dissonance in the way, you're always going to have a barrier, you're always going to have a disconnect. And if you solely focus on that disconnect, you will only end up in a, a, a row about Flat Earth. And for a man like Thomas Sheridan, I didn't think that that was a, an appropriate route to take when he has such valuable knowledge about psychopathy. So that was my reasoning. And after a long, drawn out, <laughs> several day long row in the comments of a YouTube video, Rory and I both basically agreed to disagree and respected each other's opinion. And I felt it was a, a nice ending in the respect that uh, the conclusion was that um, we saw each other's point and we both empathised with each other's point, which is which is the, the nub of why I had Thomas Sheridan on the show. Um, psychopaths have no empathy. And ultimately speaking, despite the fact that both Rory and myself are extremely passionate about the subjects that we talk about. We're still nice, decent, good human beings and we can actually discuss it even with passion and gusto. You know, there was, I don't feel any point uh, in the heated discussion that Rory or I fell out um, and would be, uh, you know, uh, unable to reconcile differences without discussion and that's exactly what took place so rather than have, having me uh, with a video log swearing at uh, um, Rory Cooper I'd much rather have one that says Rory Cooper's channel's fantastic he's a very passionate flat earther and who can blame him and when people wrong flat earthers it's a, a reaction that we shouldn't mirror we shouldn't immediately start to ridicule them in the same way that they ridicule us we can rise above the ridicule that Flat Earth receives. Uh, and I hope, um, you know, future dis disagreements in, in any of these topics can have the same resolve. In other words, we can discuss these issues, we can discuss these topics, even if it's heated and uh, draw a logical and sane conclusion um, without, uh, without <laughs> falling out to the point that we're suing each other in courtrooms. Um, that reminds me, Math Powerland did a video recently about his um, about his, his case with Google. I'd love to know how that turned out. Um, I've refrained from sending him any messages because he's probably ongoing and undoubtedly very stressed
stressful. But I'd love to know how um, Matt's getting on with that. Um, so yeah, if anybody can tell me in the comments, I'd be very grateful. Anyway, I've been Nathan Oakley. I'll see you all in the next video.